A recent Commerçant article criticized MS-21, also known as MC-21 in Russian, for increasing its aircraft weight by six tons. Let me first tell you what it says. As per Commerçant, the flagship MC-21 has become nearly six tons heavier, significantly reducing its range and altitude. According to the manufacturer's data, the empty weight of the import-substituted aircraft increased by 5.75 tons compared to the previous version, MC-21-300, with a fuselage made of foreign components and Western engines. Sources attributed this to domestic composites and new systems. In response to the MC-21's weight issues, Rostec announced that they will finalize the design of the fully import-substituted aircraft in the second half of this year. Step-by-step -step implementation of the program will allow us to meet the highest standards of airline requirements in terms of operational economy within the widely accepted range of around 3,000 kilometers and capacity of 150-170 passengers, said the state corporation. The Commerçant story likely mirrors the changes made to the MC-21 page on the Irkut website. Russia refers to the imported MS-21-300 substitute as MC-21-310. The website reports a reduction in the maximum flight range from 6,000 km to 5,100 km. In my view, this is the actual range after multiple six-hour test flights of the MC-21-310 with PD-14 engines from Zhukovsky to Omsk and back without landing. When it comes to the weight issue, the website shows an increase in the maximum takeoff weight from 79.25 to 85 tons. Here is where Commerçant gets it wrong. As it states, it is empty weight. So the question arises, is the MC-21-310 heavier than the MC-21-300? First, let us look at the claim that Russian composites have increased the weight of the aircraft. In my opinion, finding any official figures regarding the replacement of composites for the MC-21 has proven difficult. There is only indirect confirmation from the Rostec website that the material's characteristics have not changed significantly since their replacement. The MC-21 wing today exclusively uses domestically produced materials for both infusion and autoclave technologies. According to the manufacturer Aerocomposite, these materials are in no way inferior to their foreign counterparts in terms of characteristics. The next concern is engine weight. In our opinion, the switch from the American P-1400G JM engine to the Russian PD-14 also could not have fundamentally influenced the increase in the aircraft's weight. For clarity, let's compare the dry weights of the engines. We extracted all figures from the engine type certificate datasheet, which is open source. The PW1431G JM has a weight of 2,858 kilograms, a length of 3.4 meters, and a width of 2.22 meters. The PD14 has a weight of 2,950 kilograms, a length of 4.66 meters, and a width of 2.52 meters. Despite PD14's larger dimensions, the difference in weight is 92 kilograms. Incidentally, given the ongoing news about issues with servicing Pratt & Whitney PD-1000G engines and the grounding of dozens of A320neo, A220, and E195E2 aircraft, the decision to abandon American engines for the MC-21 seems to be a favorable one. We will have to see if PD-14 is reliable enough or not. This is where the interview with the chief designer of the MC-21, Vitaly Narishkin, comes into play. According to the chief designer, the PD-14 engine operated in harsh test conditions for two years without requiring replacement, whereas the American engines required numerous replacements. The third issue is the overall weight. According to the MC-21 type certificate datasheet, both the fully domestic MC-21 and the one with the imported component weigh 79.25 tons. You might say that the Irkut website states that it weighs 85 tons. The chief designer stated, the takeoff weight is currently set at 85 tons, which is the maximum. This is due to a variety of reasons. First, the range we want to achieve. Second, the set of options and additional equipment that airlines requested for this aircraft. In other words, they had quite significant demands in this regard, and we were forced to increase the aircraft's takeoff weight. This is not critical for us. It's all manageable. Now, the overall question is, 
How does the import substituted MC21 compare against its competitors? For this, I relied on data taken from primary sources, type certificates. Have a look into this. As you can see, the maximum takeoff weight of 85 tons is actually a good thing. As a final argument, I'd like to mention that MC21 is still in testing. Therefore, the final certification will reveal the true capabilities of this plane. Now, do you have any alternative information on MS21 weight? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Please click the like and subscribe buttons to access more amazing content. Please also take a look at our memberships to support us.